Oh, really? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tyrese the Realist back with another video. And the title of this video and the message that I want to bring to you today is Semen Retention Will Increase Your Intuition and Discernment. I want to repeat that again. Semen Retention Will Increase Your Intuition and Discernment. I need y'all to smash that like button. I need y'all to click that notification bell. I need y'all to subscribe. But most importantly, hit that like button. You know, because we need to get this message out uh, to other individuals who are trying to become the best version of themselves and improve upon their, er their everyday activity and their everyday of, uh, uh, way of living. You know, especially all of our young kings, all of our young men out there. So again, semen retention increases your intuition and your discernment. I'm not even going to wait, you know, into this video to give you some scripture. I'm going to give it to you right now. And I want to give you the scripture out of Hebrews 5.14. You know, uh, King James Version. But strong meat belongeth to them that are full of age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. I'm going to say that again. But strong meat belongeth to them that are full of age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Guys, when, when, when we're talking about this particular scripture, it's really talking about it's really talking about the word of God, you know, um, when you are, when you are young in the word of God, when you are just starting out to, uh, get in the word of God, like if you read the Bible for the first time, you're probably not going to understand everything. You're probably going to have to go over scriptures, um, and, and go over some of these words that they're using in the in the text uh, over you're probably gonna have to go over it a few times to understand um, what what's what's actually happening in the text what's actually going on so you know um, when it when it when it talks about but strong meat belong to those that are full of age it is is basically saying um, solid food whole food strong meat you know uh it, it, it belongs it, it's for those that are mature in the word think about think about it like this when you were a baby when you were a baby you didn't eat solid foods you ate soft foods you you drunk liquids you 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 had uh milk you had juice things that you can digest so when you're first starting out in the word of god it's going to be hard uh for you to digest everything um that you're reading but when you are um constantly uh reading the word of god when you are constantly going over the text when you are constantly uh surrounding yourself around people that are ministering to you it's going to be uh easier it's going to you're going to be more comfortable with um digesting whole food that's why it says it's for it's for those that are full of age it's for individuals that are mature within the within the word of god so how does this apply to semen retention when you first start retaining, when you first start retaining, okay, just like when you first came out of the womb, you need, you need food, you know, to, to be able to survive, but you can't eat whole food because you don't have teeth. You can't break it down. You know, you, you can't um, digest whole food. So you, you're drinking milk, but you're still, you're still uh, getting food. So, you know, when you're on semen retention, you're going to have intuition and you're going to have discernment, but your intuition and your discernment is not going to be, you know, equivalent to you being on semen retention for 90 days or 100 days or six months or a year. When you're first starting out, it's like, you know, you you're 
you're you're on milk. You're a baby in the game. But you're still, the good news is you're still getting food. You're still getting uh, intuition. You're still increasing um, your discernment. This is this is very, very important, guys, why you need to practice semen retention. You see, when you're not practicing semen retention and you are releasing all the time, what's happening is you're starting to lose your intuition, your natural ability to feel whether something is good for you, whether something uh, is right for you. You're losing your discernment, your ability to judge whether this is the right woman for you, whether this is the right friend or friends or circle of friends that you should be aligned with. Because you are now becoming a weaker man when you release your semen. Most of you guys get into horrible marriages, horrible relationships, because before you started those marriages, before you started those relationships, you probably were a depleted coomer. You probably were, you know, bust into the screens. You probably were, you know, um, fornicating all the time. You know, even if even if you're not, even if you weren't a, a guy that was practicing self pleasure, just the mere fact of you having sex, sexual intercourse, and you're releasing your seed through sexual intercourse all the time, it depletes you. It doesn't matter. Let's get one thing understood. It don't matter if you're releasing your semen from sexual pleasure, and it does not, you know, versus if you are releasing your semen um, from personal pleasure. You're still releasing your seed. Now, it is best to do it with a partner it is best to do it with a woman that that you are attracted to but regardless when the seed is gone it's gone it's not like well you know i had sex with a woman and i didn't jack off today so i'm stronger no 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 no, no. you still weak because you done left you, you done lost all them vitamins you done lost all those minerals you know we, we 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 prefer to do it with a woman, you know, we prefer to do it, you know, with our partner, but you know, the goal is to retain as much as possible. Even if you are in a relationship, you probably shouldn't even be having sex all the time because you know you you there's so there's so many other things within this relationship that um you can be bonding and um growing together in that doesn't involve sex. You know, sex is great. Sexual pleasure is, 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 is awesome, you know, but, you know, relationships are more than just sexual pleasure. So, you know, when you are practicing semen retention, you have, you know, proper discernment. You know, your discernment, incre your discernment increases, you know, the, the longer the longer you're on semen retention, you know, for you guys out there that's excuse me, for you guys out there that's practicing semen retention for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, your, your discernment is crazy. You know, you, you, you feel bad vibes, you know, from a mile away from, for you guys that just started practicing semen retention and you're only a weekend, you're, you're starting to develop that, uh, discernment and that intuition and it is growing um, but for you to get to the level where um, you can digest that type of food you know like, like it says you know um, solid food or or whole meat is 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 for for the mature you have to be able to stay on the journey you know back back to the back to the scripture it says um, those who by reason uh, of use have their senses exercised so you 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 have to you have to be on the journey you have to be on the journey to be able to develop the proper intuition and discernment that you need to be able to to 
decipher good from evil. That's that's very important because what happens, guys, is when you when you're when you're depleted all the time, when you're tired all the time, when you're not shining, when you're lackluster, it's very very easy for you to be taken advantage of. It's very very e it's very very easy for you to to meet a young woman who is going to drain you of your resources, of your finances, of your mental health. She's going to drain you of everything that you bring to the table. And that's only because you don't have proper discernment. You don't have proper judgment or you don't have proper intuition. You're, you're not catching the vibes. You understand me? You should be able to see the vibes when you meet a young woman. But if you deplete it and you releasing your semen all the time, you're not going to catch no vibes. Remember, you have to retrain and reprogram the way that you think. You know, when you're programmed to just only uh, think sex first, you're not going to catch no vibes. The only vibes that you're trying to catch is clapping them cheeks. And when and once they once they once they put that thing on you, you done. You done. You are finished. You know, it's it's think about think about Samson. Think, think, yeah, think about Samson. And, and Delilah. You understand what I'm saying? Even if you watch the movie, Samson and Delilah. In that entire movie, he was trying to clap some cheeks. He was trying to clap some cheeks. That That is what was on his mind. And he wasn't, he wasn't initially crazy about Delilah. He was crazy about her sister. But Delilah was willing to bust it open. And because that is what was important to him, he didn't have proper discernment. He couldn't see. And because he couldn't see, what, what ultimately happened to him? He went blind. God blinded him. He went blind. He couldn't feel. Delilah was pressing was pressing him about where he get his strength from. He should have been able to feel negative vibes. He should have been able to feel something's wrong here. Why are you all why are you all up in my business? Why are you trying to find out where I get my strength from? Why are you asking me all of these questions? Why are you nagging me every day? What you up to? But see, she had them put that thing on him, so it was over for him. And that's the only thing that. That's the only thing that was important to him, you know? And this goes back to my last video, guys. You were put here first. Adam was put here first to be a leader. You are supposed to lead women, not be led. You understand? So because he followed Delilah into that trap, he was chastised by the Most High. The very God that he prayed to and believed in. God is real, y'all. God is very real. And he's watching us in this matrix. He's watching the way we conduct ourselves. He's watching the way we handle women. Believe it or not, Eve, women, I personally believe. I, I'm not telling you that this is a fact, but I personally, Tyrius the realist believes they were put here to keep us on our you know on, on, on our shit to keep us on our p's and q's to to, to 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 make sure that we're focused because they're always testing us they're always testing us and when you are depleted you're gonna fail every test every exam you're gonna fail you're never gonna pass the test you're never going to pass the test. All that strength Samson had. And Delilah made him weak. She made him weak because he was thinking sex first. He wasn't trying to marry Delilah. Go back and read it. He wasn't trying to marry Delilah. He didn't see her as a wife. He was trying to smash. And it backfired. That's why I tell y'all when y'all commit adultery and you see a woman, when you think lustfully about a woman that you just met, you don't even know her, 
you know, y'all not married. The first thing that come to your mind is clapping them cheeks. Man, you, you, you don't know this girl. You don't know where she been. You don't know who she been with. You don't know what kind of um, soul ties that she has. You don't know, you know, what kind of spiritual demons inside of her. You know, and once you exchange that energy, you then take on all of those uh, demons and, and bad habits that she has. You are the company that you keep. Facts. So if you want to increase, if you want to increase your intuition, if you want to increase your discernment, you have to become ma mature in your journey. You have to become full of age in your journey. Guys, I know it may be hard, you know, because you might just be starting out. But you, you have to think think about how long how long you've been, you know, taking in, you know, practicing self-pleasure, you know, on the hub. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy to just, you know, uh, go into a 30-day you know, a, a, a 30 day uh, streak. You know, you, you've you been doing self pleasure way longer than 30 days. Remember, like I say, guys, some of us started this at 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. We've been doing it all our lives. So to just, you know, stop doing that for 30 days, you know, it's probably gonna, it, it's probably gonna make you feel like, man, like I really gotta get off. Like, no, no, you don't have to get off. God ain't put you here to be to be a pipsqueak. He didn't put you here to be weak. He put you here to be strong, be a man. You can't be lackluster. You got to shine. You got to shine. That's why the sun come out to shine on you. You understand? You got to shine. So, like I said, man, the message in this video is Semen retention will increase your intuition and your discernment. But you have to exercise. You have to be on the journey. And I, I'm not talking about, you know, physical fitness exercise. Yeah, you got to exercise. You got to do that too. But what I mean is you have to, you have to stay on the journey. Stay on the journey. That way you'll be able to increase your intuition and increase, you know, your discernment. You know, this way, when you meet certain individuals, you, you know, you already know, like, all right, yeah, that's, that's my dog. I like him. He got good vibes or nah, I can't chill with him. You know what I'm saying? You know, you'll be able to look at a woman and, and be able to tell right away, like, this is, I like this girl, man. This is the type of girl I want to, I want to, I want to get to know, you know, or you'll be able to tell like, man, she just, she just want my bread, man. Or she just trying to steal my joy, man. Or she just want, you know, people have ulterior motives. Whether they let you know or not, people have ulterior motives. A lot of you guys are in bad relationships right now because you did not have, you know, proper or good in, or good intuition. You have poor judgment. So now we got to get to the root of the problem. Why did we have poor judgment? Why did we have bad intuition? I keep telling y'all, God knows the Bible, but so does the devil. He was one of God's greatest angels. The devil knows the Bible. So that's all I got for y'all, man. That's all I got for y'all. Let's raise our vibrations, man. I hope everybody is having a blessed day. It's Tyrese the realest, man. A really. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. I'm out, man.